hey guys what's up i'm not going to be talking for the whole of this video i just wanted to come in and say a few points because i think i have a few important things that i think y'all need to know so first things first i don't know if you've noticed but i think i built my apex way too high especially for the design that i was going to be doing i did not need to build the apex that high i could have left it nice and flat due to me being due to me encapsulating the nail later so that's something that i think all nail techs need to bear in mind and me being one of them and um, this was the first time that i have done four fingers whenever i've worked on my partner I, she's only ever let me do one finger and today i said babe can i do your nails and she was like yeah i was like how many fingers can i do and she was like four i was like no way girl you gotta let me do four of your fingers i was so happy so today i got a bit excited i think and i started putting a lot of product on her fingers because of how excited i was so um yeah um i think that's something that we kind of need to bear in mind as nail techs you kind of need to understand how much product you're going to be needing depending on the design that you're going to be doing on your client or, or practice hand uh whichever the case is so that's something that i also didn't consider on this finger as well although i didn't end up encapsulating this finger because she wasn't keeping these nails on i should have kept this nail as well thin um because i was i did i would have been encapsulating the nail had it um of been a, a client that would have been keeping the set on um so yeah that's just a little tip that i wanted to kind of throw out there uh, especially because i'm still learning i'm a beginner and i'm pretty sure there's other beginners out there that are just like me um i wasn't even gonna post this video because i was quite upset with myself and how i did these nails because i know i can do so much better i was looking at this set like girl the hell the hell is this what did what did, what is this especially because i've seen what i what i can do i know i know what i'm capable of so i was a pretty disappointed in myself when i saw these nails but i'm not gonna let it get me down i know where i messed up i know what i need to rectify and i just i'm so excited to do her nails again because i just feel like i can do it 10 times better now do you know what i mean especially because i know what i did i know where i messed up i know i just know you know what i mean i know so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna let you guys watch the video um i hope you enjoy um i'm really excited for you guys to see the glitter bit because it actually looks really nice as much as i mess it up it looks really good in the process do you know what i mean i mean the glitter just looks absolute fire so i'm really excited for you guys to watch that bit of the video um when we get to that point of the video i'm gonna need you guys to let me know that you're still here in the comment section okay let me know we're gonna need to i don't know say blue glitter blue glitter when we get to that point in the video okay guys that's what we're going to have in the carpet section y'all we're going to say the tree y'all quite right anyways guys i'm gonna shut up now because i'm absolutely waffling my lips on the bloody recorder i hope you have an amazing day
Hello, it's me. I've been one. No, I'm trying to say, guys. I basically just wanted to tell you that basically this part of the video yeah is very important because this is where you get a flush cuticle and i did not get a flush cuticle i had product running into her cuticle and i think that's because the amount of product that i applied by her cuticle i didn't need to push it up that far do you get what i'm saying and that's what um made all the product run into the cuticle this isn't even acrylic and it still ran do you get what i mean like this is poly gel and i think because of how much i applied you guys will see towards the end that her cuticle looks it doesn't look flush the way it's meant to so that's another tip that i just wanted to throw out there for any beginner nail techs you know be considerate of the amount of product that you're applying by that cuticle because you you really don't need that much do you get what i'm saying so don't don't over apply um acrylic acrylic poly gel or any product to buy that cuticle area because you don't want any product in that cuticle and i don't know if you guys can see but i have product all up in that cuticle blood all up in there <laughs> i think the best way to probably practice this technique is to continue practicing on my girlfriend when you practice on a real person it is so different to practicing on a practice hand so if you're a beginner like me, I would suggest getting a real person to practice on ASAP because you will literally see the difference and yeah, it's really beneficial. Analyzation and reflection is the key to growth. This is what has helped me be able to um, get better at doing nails because this is what I do every single time when I finish a set. I look at the nails and I say, right, what have I done well and what needs to be? 
be done better do you get what i'm saying and as you guys can see on that pinky finger there was no apex whatsoever the apex was a little bit low on the ring finger the middle finger i did well and the index finger the apex was there but the cuticle was not flush there's too much product in that cuticle area i think the cuticle looks a lot better on the middle finger and the ring finger and that's what we're aiming to get we're basically aiming for that flush look on all four of the fingers so obviously the next time i do a set that's what i'm going to work on that's what i'm going to try and implement and you know the fact that i didn't implement it this time I'm not going to dwell on that and I'm not going to beat myself up about that. We're just going to make sure that we do it next time. this is it this is the bit i wanted y'all to see guys look at that glitter oh my god it's so sparkly type blue glitter if you're still watching guys thank you so much if you're still here i appreciate you yes queen yes <laughs>
After applying this glitter, I took out my poly gel brush and started cleaning up around the sides and then I realised that I didn't need to do that because the glitter it was only going to cure where I applied the gel polish. So, just wanted to throw that out there. You don't necessarily need to clean up when you're doing like designs like this because the glitter will only cure where you apply it. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I think you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Personally, I think this is where I mess up the nails because I just apply way too much clear on the glitter nails um, when I'm encapsulating and I think that just kind of messes up the whole look. But you know what? It's a learning curve. So we're just going to keep doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep on slaying these nails. And I'm not even going to let my mistakes get me down, bruv. Just because I messed up today don't mean that I can't be better tomorrow. The fuck? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. Like, I'm just going to keep practicing, work on my mistakes, and just keep slaying. I'm going to keep slaying, yo. Get what I'm saying, girl? Yes. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend, girl. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Peace.